This Week in Sheridan is presented by 95.9 The Edge. I'm Steve Sisson. Founded in 1879, Eaton's Ranch is one of the oldest dude ranches in the United States. Every spring, they move their herd on a 100-mile trek from winter pasture to the ranch on the eastern slopes of the Bighorn Mountains near Wolf, Wyoming. This drive takes hundreds of horses through Sheridan directly past the historic Sheridan Inn, creating a unique event for spectators. The museum at the Bighorns is also along the drive route and hosts a number of activities for those waiting for the horses to appear. Sheridan Media's Tiffany Ideen chatted with Executive Director of the Museum at the Bighorns, Michaela Laro, about the event. Can you tell me a little bit more about the history of the museum? Yeah, so the museum is run by the Sheridan County Historical Society. In 2006, uh, the society decided the collection had grown enough to justify the need for a museum. And they started by purchasing a house down on Alder Street across from the library. Uh, it no longer stands, but within the year they outgrew the space and uh, they purchased this building in 2005. And in 2006, we've moved in and we've been here ever since. That's wonderful. So this is a free event that you're offering today for the horse drive. Yes, it is. It is our eighth annual pancake breakfast, as long as we're not counting last year into that equation. Um, but we are having free admission today to the museum. We have pancake. We have a pancake breakfast. We have our craft market and just a whole lot of other things going on to make it a community event. You can view photos from the Eaton's Horse Drive at SheridanMedia.com. Lots of local sports to talk about. Here's James Timberlake. The Elk Class Wyoming State Track and Field Championships finished up on Saturday in Casper. It was the most successful state tournament for the Sheridan area teams in recent memory. The Sheridan Bronx won their first team state championship in 52 years. Sheridan's team won by a wide margin with 130.5 points. In second was Natrona with 82 and third was Kelly Walsh with 80. The Lady Bronx finished in sixth place. Bighorn and Tongue River also showed out in their state tournament. The Lady Eagles were crowned the two-way state champions for the first time since 1988 after dominating the field. Tongue River won eight events total and were runner-up in three other events, including having runners finish first, second, and third in the 100-meter dash. Two different Lady Eagles won three events apiece. Freshman Addie Pendergast won the 800 meters, 100 meter dash, and the 400 meter dash. Junior Carly Reich won the long jump, high jump, and the 200 meter dash. The Lady Eagles finished the tournament with 158 points, Glen Rock came in second with 81.5 points, and in third was Pine Bluffs with 76.5 points. The Bighorn Rams finished in second place as a team in their tournament behind Rocky Mountain. Riley Green, Bryce Morris, Dawson Richards, and Carson Bates won the Rams lone event at the 4x400 meters. However, the Rams finished second in five other events to help push them to a silver medal team finish with 113 points. In other Sheridan area sports, the Sheridan Bronx and Lady Bronx soccer teams had their state tournament this weekend as well. The Bronx came in as the one seed from the East region and beat Evanston in their first game 3-0. However, they fell in their semifinal to Jackson 2-0, which sent them to a third place matchup where they fell to Kelly Walsh as well 2-1, giving them a fourth place finish in the tournament. The Lady Bronx came into the tournament as the three seed from the East region and fell in their opening game to Kelly Walsh 3-0. The Lady Bronx turned it around, though, beating Dentrota on Friday 1-0 to send Sheridan into the consolation final against Cheyenne East. However, they fell to the Lady Thunderbirds 2-0 to end their season. And finally, the Sheridan Troopers took on the Billing Scarlets on Sunday in their lone doubleheader of the weekend. The Troops split both games, with the Scarlets taking the first game 6-3. Then the Troop went down early in the second game, but came back to win it 9-7. This weekend, the Troopers will be in Gillette for the Spring Classic Memorial Tournament, where they are guaranteed five games starting on Friday and going through Memorial Day. Mallory Bambaka has info on an easy way to get local news sent to your inbox. Did you know you can stay up to date with all the latest news? Go to sharedmedia.com, scroll to the top and find the red bar, click newsletter and enter your email to subscribe. The email will be sent to you every Thursday morning with all the latest happenings. You can also find garage sales, fun facts, weather, and so much more. Subscribe to the Sheridan Media newsletter on SheridanMedia.com. This Week in Sheridan is presented by 95.9 The Edge, Sheridan's home for new rock. See their Aaron Jones, Chevelle, 24-7, 365. Listen at 95.9 FM on HD Radio at 94.9 HD3 and streaming at SheridanMedia.com and through the 95.9 app. Get the app at SheridanMedia.com slash app. For news throughout the week, go to SheridanMedia.com. In the meantime, we'll close with more from the Eaton's Horse Drive. I'm Steve Sisson. Have a great week. Oh,
Oh! 